Hi, welcome to Wiggy with Christy. I'm Christy and today I'm reviewing for you Sonoma by Renee of Paris in the color Mocha Brown. Uh, I'm really excited to bring you this review for a number of reasons. We're going to talk about uh, short wigs and what to do with these fibers uh, because this wig is pretty crazy wild and how this wig was a little different than I wanted or thought it would be and also uh, how to kind of make it your own. Um, I actually got this myself. I bought it from Wig Studio One uh, Steals and Deals on Sunday nights over in their Facebook group. And I believe it was either a returned item, it was an open boxed item. So I was able to get 50% off this, which was a killer price. And I had some requests for my channel to do a shorter piece. And so I was feeling feisty and I ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> and it arrived and um, it wasn't as curly as I wanted and but I um, I think it has to take playing around with I've actually even washed this I washed this yesterday and it did get better um, but I'm gonna talk to you whoop, I'm gonna talk to you not only about this wig I'm going to actually show you and do some stuff with some products we're gonna do some experimenting while I'm recording. Uh, I've only really ever used water. I used some, um, the first time I put it on, I tried John Renault uh, spray gel, but we're gonna play around with some Peace Out Control Cream and see if we can get these really defined. Now, I mean, keep in mind, this is a brunette color. It's really dark. So it's not a blonde rooted color like Taz is, where it can kind of see more definition of those curls because it is darker color. It might be hard to kind of see, but I actually really like it. So let me go ahead and do a spin for you now uh, on this Sonoma. So Sonoma is a bold, A-line, sexy, cute bob. She has loose curls that frame the face. And I'll kind of give you some measurements here in a second. So this is like a chin length past the chin into an A-line. And she has a tapered nape. Really well tapered nape. I'm not wearing a wig. I'm not wearing a wig grip right now. So she actually comes a little bit lower there uh, when I pull her down. So she's a standard machine wefted cap. So no lace front. Um probably should be wearing a wig grip right now, but I'm not. And so no lace front, but I don't think she's really needed for a lace front. Um, and there is permatease up in here. It's to give you that volume and that lift. So she is really fun. Uh, if you like curls and you like volume, you'll like this piece. And I love curls. Uh, I wish this actually was a little bit curlier. But we're going to play around with these fibers with some product here and see what we can do with her. This is part of the Renee of Paris High Fashion Collection. This is an average cap. Fits really well. Uh, that's why I'm wearing it without the wig grip is I don't need to. Um, I could bring her in more too if needed. And the front is 11 inches. The crown is about 8 inches from like kind of right up in here down and then the back tapered is 1.75 inches this wig weighs 3.21 ounces so let's go ahead and show you inside the cap first standard cap open ear tabs but see that hair comes really well into that and the nape actually has the velcro adjusters here um, oh, it looks like this one came undone. I'm going to pull this one in just a little there and show you. Okay, so the Velcro is actually, the Velcro is sewn there on that extended nape. So that's how I have her taken. Um, I'm going to show you this color first. So this color is mocha brown. It's a medium dark brown with dramatic brown. Um, so it's a medium, this mocha brown is medium dark brown with dramatic dark ash blonde highlights near the face. The highlights are really just in there. 
Uh, and there is some down here in that nape. That's kind of really funny. Nowhere else is it really in. Uh, there is some in here. But mainly in the textured nape and in the front. I honestly kind of got this to wear around the house because um, I didn't think I'd like it. But I was like, oh, you know, it's cheap. I'll do it for my channel. And I'll probably just wear this around the house where I don't have to worry about any rubbing and just throw and go, right? But I actually really, really like this. I'd love to try this in more colors. As I've lost weight, I feel a little bit more confident in trying um, shorter pieces as my face and uh, neck is getting thinner. Uh, that's definitely helping, I think, my confidence to try something different. And I just kind of wanted to have something on my channel that um, provided a review for those that like shorter pieces. Okay, so I brought out some products. We're going to play with some products, okay? All right. One of my number ones, y'all know, is Silicone Silk Spray. Got this on Amazon. This is Simply Styling Silicone Silk Spray. Um, yeah, actually for this piece, I'm going to spray it on my hands. I'm going to spray it directly on there. Okay. I just like to give a little bit moisture into those curls. Now I have natural bio hair, so I liked the scrunching method. Um, and that's how I, I do a lot of my curls. Um, even with my natural hair when it was healthy enough and long enough to get those curls. All right, so that's in there. Now, I brought out some John Renault products. I brought out the Flex Fiber Love Flexible Gel Spray and the Fiber Love Holding Spray. Don't mind my Band-Aid. I sliced my thumb open like really bad. Okay, so for this stuff, I love this stuff. I love this for curly wigs. Um, I usually just put some in my hand. And just scrunch. You can even use a little bit more. Now, for a little bit more textured eyes and maybe kind of ringlet look, I think the Peace Out Contour Creme is going to be the best. And I did bring that. I'm going to try just a little bit more of this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the piece out contour creme. I never have had a piece that I've needed this, like this as really, so um, I barely have used mine. Okay. I think I got too much. I'm actually going to just take it like this. I've never had short hair, okay? So, all you short hair gurus out there, I'm probably doing this wrong, but we're having an experiment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so actually what I've decided to do, instead of trying to do a textured look, is just kind of scrunching it. I kind of like that. What do you guys think? This stuff is really um sticky. This is gonna be kind of like crazy and wild because it's for my channel. What do you guys think? Uh, I did an Instagram story where I said this hair is like church hair, hair in the Higher the hair, bigger the hair, closer to heaven. But I actually really, really like it. If you like big hair and curls and waves, 
This is it. Okay, so I looked a little bit closer in the mirror and the lighting, and I think it turned out pretty good. It has uh, more textured like waves you can see a little bit better. Because of the dark color, it is hard to show on camera, uh, but I'm gonna do a little spin. I pulled out another product, the Fiber Love Holding Spray. This is like hairspray for your hair with wigs. Now, my pump is broken, so I have to like spray it on my hands and then kind of go like this. Now, honestly, after the Fiber Love spray and the gel spray, you really don't need this, but it's just another product to show what um, you can do with these products for short pieces. All right, let me go ahead and do a spin to show you how this looks with the gel spray and the Peace Out Contour Creme. So the Fiber Love Holding Spray, because my pump is broken, I just like comes out in a stream. Uh, I just take it in my hands. It's really cute. I should have got red tape for Disneyland. So, uh, maybe a little bit staticky right in there, but once you have the product in there, you really just want to leave it because it's really sticky, like I said. I don't know. I kind of like it. What do you guys think? Uh, like I said, I'm not a pro with short hair, but I think this is a good experience to play around with. Uh, you definitely need to wash this wig if you don't want that product in there all the time right um if you just want the soft waves wash it um i just washed it yesterday and you know it has product in it now so i'm not used to that because i don't have the short styles that i typically use this product in um so you can also tame it down but this is a wild and free hair so it's not for those that are scared of volume or scared of curls or big hair. Like Taz said in her video, it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> and it's not, it's definitely big hair. I didn't watch all her video, but she said that and I was laughing. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video of experimentation for my sh first short wig uh, by Sonoma. I really actually love this wig and I think it's gonna be a great piece just around the house. I might even wear it, like out and about. I gotta get confident enough with wearing a short wig. So what do you guys think? Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please post the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and a comment what you thought about this. And if you have a short wig, maybe some products that you use or what you find works best. Or if you have Sonoma, let me know what you do with her. Um, I might even experiment with maybe some steam adding a little bit more tighter curls at the top um, and maybe brighten here as well. She does have curls though. It's just a matter of taming those. So, all right. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to shine bright, love others, and be kind. Bye.